My name is Alfian. I am a cis gay man and I am a playwright. I'm Elijah. I use they them pronouns. Um, I'm bisexual and non-binary and I'm currently an undergraduate at NTU. My name is Jean Seizure. I am a singer-songwriter and I identify as queer. I'm gender fluid. My name is Joshua Simon. I'm a radio presenter as well as host of the SG Boys podcast, a little gay podcast from Singapore. My name is Unisheng Sheng and I'm a writer and researcher in Singapore. My pronouns are he, him and I'm a gay man. To simply exist unapologetically as a queer person. Pride is the opposite of shame. Pride to me uh, is the opposite of shame. Pride is a very quiet thing uh, compared to, I guess, the perception of it, which is a very loud, very vibrant, colorful, in your face um, kind of um, sensation. Having to come to terms with myself and learning how to love and how to grow into a person that I am proud of today. That statement totally flips the narrative. All of us in Singapore live at a crossroads of cultures. And I don't think it's something that is just part of one culture rather than another. So just looking at the Malay archipelago, for example, if you look at the island of Sulawesi and the Bugis people, they actually recognize five genders. So uh, I think, in fact, that some of our notions about uh, heterosexuality is imported from the West. Section 377 was from the Indian Penal Code, which was imported by the British Western powers. It's not about influence from the West in the sense where homosexuality was an imported concept. It, it, it definitely is not. We have always been here, but we have always been clamped down on. We've always been um, compromised. We've always been unrecognized and slowly scratched out. And we're just saying enough is enough. I'm thinking so hard because of how when people don't want to listen to you, they just don't. And no matter what you say, sometimes it's, it really doesn't get to them. We're everywhere. Most of you will have a family member, a close friend who is um, queer and might not want to talk about it. A Singapore that can say our pledge in truth, right? Like to build a democratic society based on justice and equality. I think a truly inclusive Singapore would mean would move from tolerance to acceptance.